Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hands Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. A disbarred personal injury attorney was sentenced to four to ten years in prison after pleading guilty to stealing money from clients. Matthew Dunkley was accused of stealing $1.8 million from clients over a three-year period to fuel a gambling addiction, and the judge ordered him to pay back $634,000 back to the victims. In Monday's court hearing, Dunkley apologized and said he's trying to change his life since spending 17 months in jail. A 40-year-old man killed outside a CVS in central Las Vegas was identified as Antonio De Leon. De Leon was in a quarrel with another man in a parking lot when the man shot the victim in the head. Metro responded to the shooting at around 9.30 a.m. Thursday in the 2700 block of Maryland Parkway near Sahara Avenue. The victim died at the scene while the shooter fled. No arrests were announced as of Monday afternoon. Following the death of Metro Police Officer Trong Tai, new scrutiny has many questioning the vests that protect law enforcement on a daily basis. Review Journal's James Schaefer explains. At Safe Life Defense, we have four main levels of uh, flexible armor protection. Safe Life Defense owner Nick Roach showed off a series of vests made by the company specifically protecting against stabbing, tasers, and bullets. The question about what vests a police officer should wear have sprouted up following the fatal shooting of Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Officer Truong Tai. Officer Tai was shot and killed on October 13th from a bullet from an AK-47 pistol that pierced his bulletproof vest, killing him. Now, the Henderson-based business, Safe Life Defense, presented a series of vests used by police officers like one used by Officer Joaquin Escobar in March 2019, which is cited with saving the officer's life. The pricing for these vests going anywhere from $449 to $1,600. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schaefer. New Las Vegas HOV regulation hours are now in place. The 24-7 enforcement of the HOV lanes has been a hot topic among Southern Nevada motorists. For the next 18 months, the 22 miles of lanes are open to all motorists during overnight hours. The new regulation hours are part of a pilot program that will study the best use for the carpool lanes. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, Henderson's luxury Ascaya community has a new multi-million dollar park. The two-acre family park features a desert garden, splash pad, play structures, green space, a golfing area, and picnic tables and grills. And Caesars Sportsbook and Casino announced the launch of actor Vince Vaughn as the face of Caesars iGaming and Casino platforms. The newly dubbed Prince Vaughn will appear in marketing campaigns, promotions, and social media content. And he will play an important role in experiences and events for Caesars Rewards members. Now it's time for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny with a high of 72 degrees is forecasted for your Tuesday. Calm winds throughout the day into the evening. Tonight, partly cloudy skies with a low of around 50 degrees. For the rest of the week, we're staying in the mid to low 70s with sunny skies and light to variable winds will stick around as well. 74 degrees by Wednesday. Evening lows staying in the low 50s now into the weekend. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the mobile app today. Raiders safety Deron Harmon had the first pick six of his NFL career on Sunday when the team beat the Houston Texans. Here's what Coach McDaniels had to say about the presence he brings to the locker room. When he sees something that he can help them with, he does. Um, he's extremely coachable on, you know, on, on our end as coaches. He's a great player to coach because he listens very well. He's a great listener. Uh, he can make adjustments quickly. Uh, and then he's a great communicator. In your health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. Hearing aids are now available without a prescription and at dramatically lower prices thanks to a 2017 federal law that finally took effect this week. For decades, it cost thousands of dollars to get a device that would only be purchased with a prescription. Now a new category of over-the-counter aids are selling for hundreds of dollars. 
and call it a hobby or nostalgia or even a form of meditation. But therapists are advising more adults to take up coloring as a way to reduce stress, manage anxiety, and promote relaxation. Experts say the deliberate focus but low stress process of coloring can help deflect attention away from ourselves and all that stresses us out, satisfying our creative urges and reconnecting us with a pleasurable activity. Sports, sponsored by DNR House of Diamonds, making luxury affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. The Golden Knights defeated the Toronto Maple Leafs 3-1 Monday at T-Mobile Arena. In the same game, Phil Kessel tied the NHL record for consecutive games played. Kessel, who started for the Knights, has played in 989 games in a row, with a chance to break the record Tuesday against the Sharks. Goaltender Logan Thompson made 23 saves in the game. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Triple Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Houston Astros are minus 200 favorites over the Philadelphia Phillies to win the World Series. But former Las Vegas High School and College Southern of Nevada star Bryce Harper is the 5-1 favorite at Caesars Sportsbook to win the World Series MVP award. The Phillies are plus 175 underdogs to win the World Series, which starts Friday in Houston. The Houston Astros are minus 178 favorites in Game 1, and the total is 6.5. In your entertainment news, sponsored by Best Mattress, Best Service, Best Selection, Best Price Guaranteed, two new comedy musicals are opening on the Strip. Musical the Musical is back at the Miracle Mile Shops B Theater, satirizing Adele, Britney Spears, Frank Sinatra, and more big names. And Star Wars the Musical is also opening, and the story follows Scott and Taylor, a pair of, quote, moronic superfans, according to the news release. The show begins November 16th. And the popular McRib sandwich is returning to McDonald's location across the country for a limited time only. The famous pork patty dipped in barbecue sauce will be available from October 31st through November 20th for its farewell tour. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 at 7 p.m. from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.